Andrew. And I'm Evani and welcome to our YouTube channel and the entire point of this channel is to promote debate. Uh, the two of us both watch SJW videos and anti-SJW videos and we're constantly pausing them and kind of putting our points forward. Yeah, we are. And they're often very different. <laughs> very, very. Different. And we kind of thought, you know, how are the two of us going to get involved in this discussion? How are we going to kind of put our personal viewpoints across? Mm -hmm. And we decided the best way to do that was to kind of debate with each other. Yep. To show two different halves of the same coin. For example, she's a feminist and I'm not in a single down way. And, you know, we've lived together for four years very happily. Yep. And, you know, we just want to kind of show that, you know, you can have a discussion with somebody without arguing and without slagging them off. That's true, yeah. being aggressive. Yeah. And so, before we start, we'd just like to say that our videos will be in a stream format. They are... Unedited. Literally, yeah. They're literally just filmed in front of a camera. It's the two of us with a bit of drink and some cigarettes, shooting the shit and just going off a few points we've listed down. And for our first video, we've decided to look at... Feminism! <laughs> Um, but no statistics, no figures. We're looking at our own personal viewpoints of feminism, um, what we see it as, what it's become, and what we'd like for it to be in the future. Yeah, so the first point I have is the definition of feminism. Uh, would you like to go first? I'm a man who opens doors for women, so darn you go first. Chivalry is not bad. I hope not. <laughs> okay, so my personal viewpoint of feminism is that feminism is equality between sexes. Well, my personal opinion is that it used to be. No, it's not. That's also like it leads on to point two really well, which is what has feminism become? Well, in my opinion, feminism has become a monster of what it used to be. Feminism used to be used to mean the equality between men and women. Now it means the boot heel of women on men's necks. Okay, well, I'm going to disagree with you up to a point. Um, there are certain women in, well, females, I'm going to say, in the community who... <coughs> Christy Winters, <laughs> who are kind of given a platform and given an opportunity to discuss feminism more than others, and I don't believe they are feminists. I believe they are using the term feminist, but they are radicals, in the same way that ISIS use the term as Muslims, and they're not. They're so radicals. you mean they're using their own platform for personal gain? It's not even personal gain so much. They have their own points of views which they attribute to feminism, but that's not what feminism is. They're using feminisms to further their own opinions which they believe feminism should be. Their own agenda. Yes. And so they look at feminism and go, well, women should be better than men. So that's what feminism is. And because they're given the platform by certain YouTubers who discuss their videos and talk about them, you know, they're given that platform. They're seen as the voice of feminism because they're given the most social media attention. And they're not the voice of feminism, they're radicals of feminism. But unfortunately, they're the biggest voice. That's, that's, that's the big problem. They are the biggest voice of all the feminists. Yes, and that's... Feminazis. Big... Nazis. Yeah, but that is a big problem. And that doesn't, that doesn't make the feminists. ISIS have one of the biggest voices in the world. That doesn't make them Muslims. No, I mean, it makes them fucking terrorists. Yeah, it makes them terrorists in the same way that you've got women like... Christy Winters. And he's like... Anna who kind of come onto the YouTube and say, well, we think X, Y, Z, and then they're given a platform by the YouTubers and social media outlets, and people go, well, they're the voice of feminism because they say they are, and they don't look any closer. Hmm. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, I agree. I mean, those, those two women examples are not good. They're, they're, they're horrible humans, for example. They are horrible humans. I wouldn't go that far, because I don't know them personally, but what I would say is the points they put across are not feminism. They and do you, not put across feminist points. Do you know the YouTuber Boogie? Yes. I need a bully to him. A bit of She's a horrible human. The point is, Michael, you can say someone's a horrible human or not. It's regardless. What we're discussing here is feminism in itself. Hmm. And what they portray as feminism well, they portray is not it, feminism. Yeah, yeah, I obviously agree. They, they portray it in the absolute wrong way. Okay, so moving on to point four here, because we went through a couple of points in that discussion. No, we did, we did. Um, what effects has feminism got now on our community, and what do we want it to have in the future? Well, the effects now is very little. Because uh, equality-wise, we are both equal. Equality-wise. In, 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 certain, in certain areas, we are equality-wise. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are certain areas of where men work better than women, and men and women work better than men. Okay. You know, there's sewage workers, and there's primary school teachers. 
Okay. You know, there's those ones. Yeah. I mean, a, a man should be, uh, if you go to a job interview, you should be judged on your merits, not your Yeah, not no, your I, sex. Completely, I completely agree. If you present your CV to someone, it shouldn't matter if you have a female or a male name on your CV. It should be, I can do X, Y, Z, mm. and this person can do X, Y. Mm. I've got an extra thing, so I should get that job. It mm. should be completely regardless of what gender the person is on the CV. No, yes, I completely yes, agree yes, with you. Um, what I would say is, what feminism is now is turning into a battleground. Yes. And it's a battleground that shouldn't have even started because feminism is equality between the two sexes. We want women to have abortion rights. Yes. Men can choose what they do with their cocks. We want women to choose what they do with their vaginas. Yes. Right? We have better mental health yes. access and services yes, for females exactly. and we want men to have the same access to mental health services to women. Mm -hmm. That's what feminism is. Right. And that's what it should be in the future. It should not become that battleground of, well, women as you said earlier, want to put their boot down on men. It shouldn't be mm. men saying, well, we don't fucking need feminism because women are twats and they're stupid. Because there are still men like that who exist. Yeah, there are. And they're stupid. They are stupid. Yeah. I mean, we're all the, we're all the exact same, no matter what creed, colour or religion. We're all red-blooded underneath. Just right, we're all humans. Yeah, we're all humans. Yeah, there's no There's no several races. There is one race. Yeah. Human beings. Homo sapien. Homo sapien, yeah. Whether you're male or female, we're all the damn same. Yeah, completely. But you should be merited on your credentials, not your sex or no, your organs. Yeah, no, I completely agree with you. I completely agree with you, which is why I think that if a man is better suited to taking care of a child than a woman, he should have custody. Yes. And which is why I think that because a female has the organ to carry the child in the first place, because uh, where we live is Northern Ireland, and women don't actually have abortion rights here. We can only have an abortion if you've been raped, or if there is a medical reason yes. for you to have an abortion. I can't walk into a doctor and say, look, I'm not ready to have a child based on my financial situation, so I would like to get rid of my child. It's against the law. I can't do that. And I think that's wrong because yes, I'm completely in control of my own body. I know when is the right time to carry a child or when it is not. Yes. And up until 28 weeks, it isn't even considered a person anyway because no. it doesn't even have a brain. That's right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, I'm, I'm pro-choice, as you know. Yeah, no, completely. I, no, I know you are. What I'm saying to you is, you know, when it comes to those things, it needs to be equal in both ways. So men have almost complete dominion over their body in regards to most things except for yes. maybe circumcision, right? Hmm. No, that's, women, a, that's a religious thing or a, Well, yeah, but women don't. Women don't doctoral have... Doctoral thing. Yeah, but women don't have nearly the dominion over their own body that men do. Hmm. And that's something where women are lower and need to be locked here. There are certain areas of work, like you said, with um, sewage work and um, any kind of heavy lifting, construction work, where men are down here and women are up here. Men need to be up here, right? And there are certain areas of work where, like, primary school teachers and blue-collar work, where women are becoming more and more prevalent, and the men are kind of getting pushed down because these companies are saying, well, we need to hire an equal amount of women to men, which means we're going to push aside the men who are better for the job. Yeah. Because we need to hire a woman. And well, that's wrong. I would say the worst for that there at the moment is the BBC. Yes, no, the BBC does have a habit of doing that. But we're not going to get into those points. No, we're not, because we love a female doctor. I'm just saying who cares? I love her. Who cares? Who cares? She was the best actress for the job. Exactly. So, let's try and cut this short. We don't want it to be too long. Nope. Point five. Okay, final points. I would like to say that I believe that feminism is the equality between the two sexes, whether that's bringing men up to the level of women or women up to the level of men. It's a long slog in both ways. And taking people from either side of the argument who are extremists is not fair and you can't use them as a representative to either side. No, well, what I would say is that it is, but these cretins, these feminazis, are the ones who are bringing everyone down. Men, women, children, grandparents, grannies, no matter what. These people are the ones who are destroying what men and other women think of women. Final point. Okay, so thank you for watching our very first video. Obviously, it's very casual, it's very much a discussion, and it was very short and very kind of in off the hip yeah for this first video um in the future we hope to kind of maybe get some points together get some research together and have more of a debate based on kind of like scientific principles but for the first video we just kind of want to give you a taste of what we're kind of looking to do mm -hmm. and um that's about it yeah so what up? again i'm vadney i'm venner and i'm gonna shuffle around this camera and turn this video off and venner is gonna give you a wee dance while i do that ready